new container for my uh, fish stack. Alright, so it's a little bit um, different from before. This is a 250 gallon tote, right? <clears throat> but I don't get any, I never get any frame with it. So, what I'm gonna have to do is to, I'm gonna have to, normally I would have about probably about a, a two inch at the size so as to ensure that the water pressure doesn't tear the side, right? What I'm gonna have to do now. Is to probably increase that to about three inches thick so therefore the sides are going to be a thick so therefore the middle is going to be a little bit more um smaller right i intend to keep uh emboomer cichlids in this what type of emboomer cichlid you will find out in the future but for now i am going to start the process of actually um actually getting the top piece off so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using this a half inch drill um, bit so as to start the process and then now what I'm gonna do after that is to use the oxar blade so as to cut around all right so this is how I started I start with, with the hole and then now I will actually use the oxar blade so as to cut around it all right so I actually use the axle blade so as to cut around so as to ensure so as to ensure that um the container don't collapse. I allow roughly about three inches um along the sides, but over here I allow it over here so to be a little bit thicker because when the water goes in it will the container will actually spread out, right? So I want to ensure that it doesn't collapse and tear apart. Right, so that's the reason why I use the drill. The drill the four holes at the side and then I use the axle blade to cut around now that the top is off I'm not gonna have to get out this um, all this that you're seeing there um, this was uh, acquired from a factory that actually make feed so this is just one of the ingredients I, I figure more is that it is sweet in nature uh, because there's a lot of ants right uh, the valve seems to be working everything seems to be good i'm now gonna have to get out this stuff so i'm gonna actually turn on the pipe do some washing place it where i'm gonna place it at and then do some filling now with the top cut off right cut off right i have actually placed some blocks there on the floor now the, as i said before i don't have any grill like this for this one so it's gonna be depending on the siding, the thickness of the side actually prevent it from actually I call it now um collapse at the side. So I'm gonna slide the, the land is a little bit slant, so I slide the the valve section first on it that will allow the water when I'm releasing the water from this tote to actually go down into the yard all right so the base is practically covered as far as um you know the, the sidings are concerned i'm gonna draw the blocks to the side a little bit so at least it have some some um some amount of i like, can foothold to hold the side pressure all right but this should be it let me see what happened i'm going to place some stone in it now for my emboomer cichlids the top of the container is cut uh stones are packed right uh container will stay here for a bit uh with water in it and then uh is fishing it all right so i fill the um 
the torch with water right guys remember i told you that i never have any frame from it right i got the plastic torch without the frame damn look what happened guys the entire torch collapsed no frame unequal um how i call it base and as a result it collapsed so my new plan is to actually get rid of some of the water and um we'll probably fill it up to half until at least i can find a half a frame one like this or that to place this in so uh, i don't want to waste the water so i won't let it out now but this is a great disappointment for me but that's how it is win some lose some